Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I wanted to pop on and talk about how your hormones change your digestive system and what to look for and that you're not crazy. <laughs> when, when things in your stomach change throughout the month, you know, and you're like, what? So um, these are things that I cover. I do have some info in my book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. I talk about nutrition that matches your hormones, female cycle, everything else, how to match estrogen, progesterone, with the regular foods that you have in your kitchen right now. Um, so you can pick that up. I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. Holy cow, I'm so, so, so excited about some of the interviews that I've been doing, that I've got coming up. I have some e amazing, amazing experts. So if you are not subscribed to my podcast, The Female Health Solution, do it now. <laughs> you don't wanna miss these. They're incredible. Um, so I'm really, really pumped about that. So. Um, and then I do have my 12 week program where I work with women one-on-one. -on -one. It's a nutrition um, meal plan, grocery list, tons of support. We go through nutrition for your cycle, hormones. We tweak things if your digestive system isn't working well. Um, protein pacing, intermittent fasting, carb cycling, just to make sure that your body is functioning the way that it should all of the time to get things taken care of. So if you have questions, I'll put a link below this video and we can schedule a call where I can go over anything that you are wondering about um, or stuck on. So we look at your digestive system and how it changes throughout the month. Something like this uh, a lot of times is really surprising for women to learn. Like it's different. Like it's just different. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is actually, I've drawn out two months here. This is a little bit different than what I normally draw. Normally I just draw one, right? One face here, right? But I put them back to back because I wanted to show how this is sort of a continuation and how there's certain triggers that occur where you're, where when your hormones shift, that can also cause digestive disruption. Mm -hmm. Yes, so great, so great. Okay, so when we look at day one, day one is the first day of the period, day 14 is about when you'd ovulate, day 28 is when that ends, and then we start over again right with day one right here again. Oh, I erased that, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, I got just excited about talking about this again. Okay, so this is like a second phase here, and this is one, this is one month here, and here's the second month. So month one. Oh. wow wow seriously one month two okay <gasps> i'm dropping stuff everywhere now i need that cap okay just, i know i just got done with football practice we had practice late so late video all right so two months here Going through the estrogen phase here, you can see it's higher in the first couple of weeks, dips down, and then it's higher again here and dips down here. Progesterone is higher in the second part here. Same thing here. Now, when we look at the differences between estrogen and progesterone, I, I talk about how it changes your metabolism, fat burning, carb burning, you know, energy, all these things, right? Okay. But when we're looking at your digestive system, a lot of times estrogen will actually help your digestive system work better, function faster, move things along easier. Mm -hmm. And progesterone, it means progestation. So it really slows things down. So a lot of women notice that things just kind of slow, start slowing down right after ovulation. For some women, again, it's not the same for everybody. And some of it depends on your overall health, you know, how quickly your hormones shift. Um, you know, uh, inflammation, immune responses, all these other things, right? Can be factors, of course, food sensitivities, uh, et cetera. But in general, there's a lot of women who experience things like as soon as you ovulate or you have that hormone change, it's a very short span of time, just a day or two. All of a sudden your digestive system starts to slow down here and then it really slows down. The more you get into it, the more progesterone is there, the slower it gets. You can get horrible constipation. Um, you can have bloating, gas, easy, all that stuff. Like you might wake up in the morning and feel like, oh, I feel better today. Oh, thank goodness. My stomach has gone down. I don't look like, a, like I've got a little food baby all the time. And then as the day goes on, you're like, oh, why am I getting bloated again? Oh, what is happening? And you just feel like your pants get tighter throughout the day. But then you go to bed and it's better the next morning again. That's very common in this phase. Basically what's happening with when that occurs, if you're like, oh, that's me. That's me. I wake up in the morning and then oh, all of a sudden it's bad again. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? So a few things that are occurring is that while you're sleeping, your digestive system really gets to rest and repair. It's not active really. So 
it all that inflammation and that irritation in it can come down when your digestive system is just slower and if you're not getting enough water if you're not getting enough fiber in your diet and a lot of times you know digestive enzymes probiotics things like that can help move things along at this point other th ginger very helpful for your digestive system too of course those things can help move it along if you're not getting those then throughout the day it'll just kind of slow down for you good news right yay so to counteract that you keep it moving otherwise you will get that repetitively uh, in the morning you feel better and at night it just gets more and more you know bloated stuck and you don't feel good you feel kind of junky and then that'll occur all the way up until this phase here right until you start your period and for some women it's a day or two before their period starts for some women it's the day of or the day after so again there is a chunk of time here that's a little too big but like a chunk of time here again where all of a sudden instead of it's slow it's like whew. yes you'll get diarrhea mm -hmm. yeah big shift in hormone everything's totally different and all of a sudden like your digestive system clears out and the thing that's really important to note is that I really want to just make sure women are aware of these things that this is very common and normal to happen with your digestive system and if you're not used to it or you're not thinking about it if you're like oh my god why did I have diarrhea I don't feel terrible I don't think I ate anything right like you you think of all these things what did I eat oh my gosh oh did I have something like am I sick am I you know what's going on right but if you're like oh right I had I just I just I'm gonna start my period or some you know this is this time of the month for me so of course my system is like this right like that ugh, duh that makes sense right it's so normal and these are things I feel like we're not told we're not you know informed of how our bodies function normally so when these things happen you're like what the heck no no you're fine it's okay it's normal and again you might have like one bout of diarrhea and then you're like oh we're good that was weird no it's not weird it's the hormones shifting and the effect of the hormones in your system and what it does to your digestive system Woo! cleans it out and then you're like normal right you're like oh look at me totally normal going along la 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 my normal thing you ovulate boom now some women when you have this drastic shift here and here basically every couple of weeks this is a key where I, I chat with a lot of women about um, hormonal issues and if this is an issue for you is when that shift happens and it can and, you know either estrogen to progesterone or progesterone back to estrogen you feel like garbage there's some women who are just like for, like, for a couple of days they're like oh bleh. That's my face, right? <laughs> Describing it. And it's, and it's more like you feel like you got hit by a truck. You feel like, oh, God, what is going on? Oh, I just can't. I don't have the energy. What the heck? You know what? Honestly, it is because that shift in hormone happens really quickly. And if your liver is not metabolizing these hormones, it gets backlogged and it doesn't feel good. So that should tell you that something's a little off with your hormones or you may have a little too much stress in your life that your body can't process through all of this stuff. And you need help to get things moving so your body can adapt when these hormones change. Because that happens all the time. Great. And it's gonna happen again. So you're gonna have to deal with it again. <laughs> Good news. It's, it's, it's coming. Can't stop nature. Yay. <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows for everyone right now. Uh, but just so you know, like, so a lot of the women that I work with, and these are things that we focus on in the 12 week program. It's all tweaked and tailored for each individual person, making sure you're getting the right results. So if you are someone and you're like, Oh my God, yes. I, I feel like that. Like every time I know I'm ovulating, I might get a cramp and I notice I ovulate, but then I feel kind of sick for the day. I just get nauseous or I feel off and I'm okay like a day or two later. That's fine. But oh, what is it about that? Yeah, that's normal. That also tells you that something's off in your system that your body's not processing that quick shift that helped that well. Cause it is, look how different it is within a couple days. Boom. Things are different. And the same thing here is here when you start your period. A lot of women expect that, oh, PMS and my, my period starts and I don't feel good. Da, 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 da. That's a problem. 
It's common, but that doesn't mean it's normal. Write that down. It's common, but just because it's common doesn't mean it's normal. So many women have these dysfunctional things about their hormones in their body, and they're just kind of like, oh, well, I guess that's the way it is. No, no, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. When you're working with your body, when you're aligning with it and giving it what it needs and responding and respecting the fact that, hey, this shift in hormone is, is too quick, or hey, I get real constipated during this part here, hmm, I need to shift up things with my nutrition to make sure I'm addressing that so it doesn't get as backlog. I need to be helping my liver at this point to help process all those hormones. And then all of a sudden, a lot of your issues start to get better, right? You're really aligning with what your body needs. So this, these are some things that, you know, again, I tailor and tweak this for every gal as we go through, but I want to talk about it because again, one, no one talks about it. No one talks about these things and then it's different throughout the month for you. So if you're stuck wondering, you're not alone and, and it's normal to, to have this, right? To have these changes. But also if you are at a point where you're like, this is disruptive for me, then this is a point where, you know, click the link below the, the video, schedule a call and we can chat about some great options for you moving forward. So you don't have to deal with this. Again, all too, all too often women expect, oh, when I ovulate and when I start my period, it's terrible for me. It doesn't have to be that way. It really, really doesn't. There's amazing changes that women have when they start to really align with their systems. So I'm really excited um, for the women who are joining the program. We have one starting February 1st. So if you want to get on board, now is the time. I have a few slots left. So if you are curious about it, if you do want to work with your body better, if you do want to boost your metabolism, work with your system, get your digestive system going better. Now is the time. Now is the time to do it. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to dive deeper into something like this where I talk about, oh, this is your digestive system. You get constipated here. You can have diarrhea here and then things can feel totally normal. Again, knowing that ahead of time, oh, just takes the pressure off versus you being like, what's wrong with my body? Nothing's wrong with your body. <laughs> Work with it different and then it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, everybody have a great night and I will see you later.